Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout 4, my name's Camel, and this video is going to be a walkthrough guide in which I will show you how to acquire and hopefully use in the best way possible the unique laser gun known as Righteous Authority, probably one of the easiest non-purchasable unique weapons to acquire in the game. First off we need to come to the Cambridge Police Station, which can be found almost due north from Diamond City. Once here we need to find off the ghouls and find Paladin Dance and then speak to him. Once you have a friendly old little chat, be sure to say yes and agree to help him and the Brotherhood of Steel on their mission. Doing so will give you the quest Call to Arms. All we need to do is complete that quest, it's quite simple and fun, and doesn't require a detailed walkthrough by any means. So upon completing the quest Call to Arms, once outside Arcjet Systems, speak to Paladin Dance, he will thank you and reward you with a weapon. This weapon of course being the unique laser gun Righteous Authority. As always before modding out the weapon and looking at its base stats, I have reduced all my character's special attribute stats to one. I also have no bobblehead perk or magazine effects applied to my character. What this means is we will be seeing the absolute minimum base stats of the weapon. Now as always you can mod yours out however you like. And given this rather versatile legendary effect there are a number of different ways you can mod it out quite usefully. But in this case in the first slot I'm going to be going with a boosted photon agitator. This increases the damage by 25%, increases critical damage by 200%, or in other words doubles the critical damage, increases the magazine size to 39, and reduces spread by 15%. In the next slot we're going to be going with the improved long barrel because we want to sustain that huge magazine size. This makes the weapon semi-automatic, increases damage by 34%, reduces magazine size by 3, so we now have a magazine size of 36, plus 9 times minimum range, plus 16 times maximum range, minus 40% to sight spread, plus 100% to minimum spread, plus 50% to max spread, minus 15% recoil, and plus 10% vats cost, and plus 3% sight time. Next I'm going to be going with the recoil compensating stock, which turns it into a rifle, reduces sight sway by 7%, reduces sight spread by 40%, reduces recoil by 30%, increases the vats cost by 20%, increases sight time by 10%, and increases bash damage by 100%. Now because for this specific personal build of mine I'm going for a kind of commando rifle, I just want reflex sights. So that's exactly what we're going to be going with. This adds 2 times zoom, minus 15% side spread, minus 15% vats cost, and minus 10% sight time. And finally in the last slot we're going to be going with the quantum gyro compensating lens. A common household item. This deducts 1 times range and reduces recoil by 35%. So now the righteous authority has been modded out the way I just did, again you can do whatever you want with yours, but for this specific build it's got a base energy damage of 38, it uses fusion cells as ammunition, it has a fire rate of 50, its range is 191, its accuracy is 86, its weight is 7.9 and its value is 405 caps. And as we can see up at the top there, Righteous Authority plus 100% critical damage and plus 15% critical refill rate. This is a gun built for vats. So as we know Righteous Authority is a unique laser gun and actually one of six unique laser guns in Fallout 4. Now, Righteous Authority's legendary prefix of the Lucky Effect, which as we just saw increases critical damage by 100% and increases the speed at which the critical meter fills up by 15%. So this gun is built to be used in VATS. However, pretty much every gun you can think of can be used in VATS. So it is slightly ambiguous as to which type of weapon you should turn Righteous Authority into. A sniper rifle, a commando rifle, a shotgun laser rifle, an automatic laser rifle, and to be honest the answer to that question is pretty much all of them. You can do whatever you want with this weapon because it's so versatile. As we know I personally went for the commando route. It's got an ammunition capacity of 36. It's semi-automatic so you can empty that full cartridge as quickly as you can pull the trigger. We didn't put a scope on it so we can still look down sights on it and use it in close quarters combat. And then it's also got that huge range on it so if you've got the eye for it you can use it outside of vats but then inside of vats you can reach enemies at incredible distances. Now we definitely want to be using this on a luck slash vats build. Now as we saw before it had a base energy damage of 38 when it was modded out this way. After getting all of the appropriate perks I was able to get the damage up to 109. Which is okay, don't forget that it's a semi-automatic with a magazine size of 36 so you can fire those off pretty quickly. Then if you add sneaking on top of that you're going to be doing 2.5 times damage provided you have all of the sneak perks. But where it really
really shines, which is quite appropriate with it being a laser gun, is when it comes to criticals. So it's already got a built-in plus 100% critical damage. Then don't forget I added the boosted photon agitator modification, which adds plus 200% critical damage. So we're already looking at four times the original critical damage. Then if you max out the better criticals perk, then you end up with an additional 250% crit damage. So with all of that combined, you end up with plus 550% critical damage, which translated means six and a half times the normal critical damage. And that is crazy. And again, because of this huge increase to critical damage, that's why Righteous Authority with this specific mod set goes absolutely hands in hands with a critical slash VATS build. Modded out this way, it's an incredibly practical and versatile gun, and then it's got the cherry on top of when you want to do a crit, you're pretty much guaranteed to wipe out whatever you are hitting. With, of course, that huge critical shot. And the huge crits you'll deliver will have your enemies looking back refracting on their lives. Perhaps they'll finally see the light. And finally, if you're into moral leadership, this is the gun for you. And here it is, Righteous Authority in action. There you have it ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel, and this has been the weapon guide for Righteous Authority, a unique laser gun in Fallout 4. I do hope that you found this video helpful and if you did, please feel free to click on the playlist button on screen. This of course will take you directly to my Fallout 4 guides playlist where you can select the videos you wish to watch freely. Or you can check in the description where it will be frequently updated with links to new Fallout 4 guides that I upload. If you've heard of Fallout 4, please feel free to follow me on Twitter. The link will also be found in the description. And with all that said, I would like to thank you very much for watching it has been an absolute pleasure as always and i will see you very shortly in the next video i'll see you there in a second